Welcome back. The key players in the parliamentary agenda are the presiding officers of the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces. Colleague Maneli Simatubase first spoke to the speaker, Maxi Sulu, about his expectations. Tell us what could we expect uh, Parliament to tackle this year? Um, good afternoon. Thank you very much for this um, opportunity. Parliament uh, will continue doing some of the programs that we started uh, last year, which is um, going to the community, talking to the people and bringing people to Parliament. And the reason we're doing it is because we want to make sure that the people's voice is heard loud and clear in Parliament and the Parliament is then able to, uh, with that information, um, interact with the, uh, with the executive. Our role as parliamentarians is not only to listen to the people but act on their requests on their behalf in dealing with the uh, delivery, particularly from the executive. We have um, sent a number of um, members of parliament in the past to different provinces and different localities to um, find out what the uh, blockages were. They've come back and reported and we are continuing to assess the situation. We also, as um, you would know, um, uh, bidding uh, with nine African countries for the square kilometer array, uh, which is the biggest um, scientific um, astronomy um, project in, 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 in Southern Africa, which will be based in the Northern Cape. We are joined by nine African countries, including Kenya, Madagascar, Mauritius, Zambia, Namibia. We want to highlight the importance of science and knowledge and science and technology. And this is the biggest astronomy project bringing Southern Africa closer to the hub of uh, the uh, knowledge economy. And, and, and Mr. Speaker, just uh, on that part of uh, bringing parliament to the people, as you outlined, some of the criticism has been that you only consult the elite, the academics, and those who have access to the media. And you don't go to the masses. What do you say to those critics? Well, there are many ways of um, interacting with, with, with the uh, 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 people. We um, go on road shows to the rural areas, to the poverty-stricken areas. We go to the townships. We go everywhere the, where the people are. We use um, also the radio, which uh, reaches a number of people. We Sometimes we have TV programs. But most important, we also have a way of inviting people, representatives of the people, to come to us to Parliament. Our aim is not just to talk to a section of the population. The aim is to talk to all the people of South Africa, and we use any and every um, media opportunity to do that. And certainly, the response we get from the people, sometimes very critical, uh, is that, yes, they like to uh, see us, they like to hear from us, and we uh, also want to hear from them and listen to them. Yeah, uh, sorry for cutting you, uh, Mr. Speaker. That's the time we had. And that was the Speaker of Parliament, Mr. Max Sulu, briefing us about the agenda of Parliament in this coming year, 2012. The theme for this year's State of the Nation address was the knowledge, economy and development opportunities. Maneli Situbase wanted to know from NCOP Chairperson Nino Matlangu what this meant and how it will impact on this year's session. Thank you very much. Uh, we are now joined by the chairperson of the National Council of Provinces, Mr. Nino Matlangu, just to brief us about the theme for this year's parliamentary procedure or parliamentary agenda. Mr. Chairperson, thank you very much for your time. Your theme is quite interesting, the knowledge, economy and development opportunities. Why this theme? Well, this is a very, very important th theme for us as South Africans. Uh, the knowledge economy and development of opportunity is one of the most important thing that we should be looking forward for in this country uh, you would be aware that uh, in terms of creation of jobs in particular although we have a lot of minerals in south africa and we deal with a lot of agricultural products we cannot rely only on those things there is a need for us to look for the question of education to look at uh, skills development or acquisition, to look at research. Research is very, very important in our country and uh, to look at also technology and science. This is important because we are competing with the globe today. In order for us to be infinite and in order for us 
to go and compete out there, our children and the new society that we are developing, it's important for them to get involved in knowledge economy and development and get those development opportunities. Therefore, we are preparing a young society that will go out there and say we are ready. You would be aware that South Africa has formed a consortium of also bidding against Australia and to build a telescope that will be in this country around the Karoo area and the bid is important for us and we are encouraging the government that it should win and, in and, this bid. And how will this institution, what kind of a role is it going to play in that regard? Well, you would aware that the, 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 the parliament, this institution of lawmaking, we play the oversight role over the executive, we are involved in participation. Our major role is to actually to oversee that those things are taking place. The implementation is taking place once that is being done. The issues of education, as I say, research and skills acquisition become very important to be monitored by the members of parliament as a whole and make sure that our children and the society that we are building benefits. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and join us again tomorrow when we get the perspective of the DA's parliamentary leader, Lindwa Mazubuko, and also hear what members of the National Assembly had to say during the debate on the State of the Nation address. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.